spotter as well. Look at all these rangers. Who is doing what? Million is one of my quicknesses. Maggie's the other. <laughs> Your heal tank a lack mech. Um, I'm assuming that. Who is our other alacrity? Is it the uh, Mirage? I'm gonna guess it's the Mirage, or maybe someone hasn't changed yet. Is it for challenge mode? Is this challenge mode? There is no challenge mode for this, but with my build it might as well be challenge mode. I am in Berserker's weapons and armor, and I couldn't throw together trinkets, so those are all Sully. Oh, um, how do, how much toughness do you have? Um, I have, I think it was like 1200? 1296. I'm not in full ministry, Sound but um, le ahead. lead armor the is, and uh, rings aren't, fight. and uh, weapons aren't, so okay. it's fine. Worst case, I can equip heal trinkets. No, it seems to be good, so... Just had a moment of panic. <laughs> <laughs> I think full Sully gets you to 1720. So Ranger could probably uh, tank two worth um, beer and a bear and greatsword. Greatsword block. For what am I, for what I'm doing? Um, I have a juvenile stalker. And where is it? A boga for my DPS pets. Probably just going to rock a boga because I think it's the highest DPS. Um, and I'm running longbow and um, sword axe. So that's going to be fun because I've never seen these weapons. Um, while well, you get um, uh, what is animation locked if you use a rolling defense, but... Gotcha. I think the only thing I need to watch out for is poles on my axe for. Yeah. Alright, so, welcome to um, Veil vale Guardian. Can I have you type one in chat if you are new? Just want to see how many new bodies we have. <laughs> oh. Three, that's not bad. Okay, so this boss fight is super nice in that it teaches you the core mechanics of the fight even before we get there. So the first guardian is green circle, or is green guardian. He is going to drop blue circles. Now what these blue circles do is you have two seconds to get out of them, or they're going to teleport you to a random area in the room, and it's really unfun. The biggest way to see if you are about to get teleported is you'll start hearing, like, whooshing sound, um, and the edge of your screen will be glowing yellow. Um, I recommend in this raid to turn your effects volume way up, that way you can hear any mechanics that might be screwing with you. Any mm -hmm. questions on green? No. Alright. No. Um, in case somebody gets teleported, I will explain red as well. Um, red Guardian um, is immune to all power damage, meaning only Condi can hit him. If you are a power damage front knot, you do do a mild amount of Condi, so just keep whacking on the boss. A druid's uh, sun spirit will give you some Condi damage. It's just, it dies slower. Can I have you type two in chat if you are a Condi build? We want at least one of them. Perfect. All right. We'll do a ready check and we'll get this started. All right, here we go. So that's that teleport, get out of it. What is that? Crystal reflections. For the record, you've been struck. Watch out for teleport. I will put red. Alright, don't worry about him. Okay, wait, wait, so actually get out of the teleport. So when we get these guys to 1%, they will need to be CC'd. Just don't stand... What the heck is my character doing? 
Uh, try not to pull in those red orbs. Oh, that didn't. That pull didn't work. Um, because standing in them hurts immensely. What the heck? <laughs> if you hear me freaking out, it's because I'm just kind of pressing my weapon skill buttons. And it makes my character dash around. How bad is my DPS? The answer is bad. What is this? Does Sword 2 have no cooldown? Uh, it's on cooldown now. It's a little weird. You get a recast on your sword, which is another dash. Oh uh, my god, it's such a mobile you... weapon. I would recommend maybe an axe for my more sustained damage. More axe? Alright. Yeah. Uh, one second, I'm gonna go buy an axe. <laughs> Guys, that was really weird. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Sword on Ranger. Oh, it's a backward stash. All right, we need weapon, axe, it needs to be exotic, and it needs to be level 80. I don't care what else. And now it needs to be berserkers. The cheapest is a five gold axe, perfect. Um, what inscription did I have? I need a force room. Oh, I closed it. Save that sword for one I unlock Weaver. Oh right, the next boss is Blue Guardian. Blue Guardian's a little bit confusing. Um, because he drops green circles. I don't know why they did it that way. Did I not grab Be right back. I didn't grab the items from the mailbox. Luckily, I have all this dash, though. You can stick to the target easier. Yeah. squad and took them deep into the woods stay alert out there i just been it's using sword for mobility to get back here all right you're taking this axe and we are equipping it with a force road cool all right so now this last guy um, he drops down these green circles. Now these green circles are really scary in that if they, if four people do not stand in them, an entire nuke is going to go off, dealing 80% of everyone's maximum health. Um, now you would think we would want to stand in this, however, during the actual boss fight, it's really a pain to stand in it, meaning we'll have to, we would have to run, oh, a mech's about to pull. Um, Meaning we'd have to run around. So, by the way, here is this nuke. It's about to happen. Make sure you're topped off. I, may not survive. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see it anywhere for some reason. The green? It was back. So, we're not standing in that. We just want to get our healers used to healing through it. So, make sure you're topped off. For my druid, I would recommend delaying your CA. Don't just go into it willy-nilly here. Get out of that green. Um, the reason for that is you'll want to use it right after that nuke goes off. So what I like to do is I swap to staff, 
um, to get everyone healed up um, when I see the green spawn, and then I see A to stack um, once it spawns. Good luck. Um, barrier doesn't work, or does it? Barrier does work. Uh, um, so, like, if you... Um, it does 80% of your max health, so if you have 30% of your health in Barrier, it will only do 50% of your max health. So Barrier is actually really good here. Make sure everyone is topped off. That's how I do it. Make sure everyone's topped off. What is my damage now? Is it better? Hey, it's better. Still not great, but... See, see? Alright. For Druid. Um, you have a special role in this fight. It is your job to deal with all of those red circles and keep them off of us. It's for okay. that re reason that I would like you to take Entangle as your elite instead of the Nature Spirit. And then lastly, um, instead of... Glyph of the Tides? No. Uh, yeah, you take Glyph of the Tides instead of one of your spirits. Um, depending on, or seeing how we have a lot of Condi classes, I would recommend dropping Frost Spirit and I can actually go ahead and take the other Frost Spirit. Um, and then lastly, in your um, Druid track, I recommend taking um, Verdant Etching or Lesser Seed of Life. It's that middle trait in the middle column. Um, this just reduces the card or cooldown of Glyph of the Tides. And so all you're going to do is you'll just kind of run out halfway and tangle them and then run back to group. And then when they get close to us, you'll push them off of you with Glyph of the Tides. Uh, can you remind me which trait I need to put on? Yeah, it's Verdant Etching in the middle row um, of Druid. Sorry, the name again? I'm having trouble tonight. Um, here, I can also just do this. Um, here is my Druid build. Yeah, okay, I already have those, uh, okay, yeah. Cool. Pretty much. All right. So for everyone else, this is kind of going to be a DPS um, fight that you don't have to move for the first kind of third of the fight. So we're gonna pull the boss. He's gonna run at us. Watch the teleports. Uh, that's the only thing you have to watch out for this fight. Um, Try not to dodge off the platform for the first one, because a few seconds after the boss starts, an invisible wall is going to go up, and anyone outside of the arena just drops dead, and then it's we're all going to have a laugh, and we'll restart. Um, for my tank, um, for that wall that I speak of, it's really useful to, for keeping the boss in place and dodging um, the teleports. If you dodge backwards into a wall, you kind of just stay in the same place. So you're gonna stay on arrow, and all you'll do is like pretend this is the um, invisible wall. Uh, all you'll do is you just dodge back to stay in the same place, and that's how you kind of keep the tank in one place while still avoiding mechanics. Um, I recommend healing yourself up before and after um, the greens pop. You're pretty much the only one that's at risk of going down due to these. Um, because you can get hit for the boss and then a bomb goes off and you lose all your health and it feels sad. Uh, don't worry about it too much. Just focus on keeping yourself alive um, instead of your subgroup. Okay. Alright. Once we hit... Um, 66% of just doing this, avoiding the teleports and beating up the boss, a split phase is going to happen where he'll become invulnerable, run to the center, and split into three of Veil Guardians, just like we saw before. I need all my Condis to run over to Heart's side 
and I need all my um, everybody else to run over to circle. Um, it's during this time that we are going to be taking greens. Um, I'll be pulling green guardian on top of blue side. And the reason for this is um, we won't have any healers over on hearts. Um, so there's nobody to heal them up. Once we beat up all the Veil Guardian bros, we're reconvening on Arrow. And we want to be on this side of Arrow because now one of these pizza slices is going to get spicy and I'll rotate clockwise. Um, and so once blue side stops becoming spicy, we'll rotate over, um, DPS the boss, and hopefully we'll phase around there. Or else we just have to move back over to Arrow. Not that big of a deal. The last thing the boss adds um, is they get a CC bar once they reach us at Arrow. Um, you'll just have to CC it in order for the fight to continue. It's not that big of a deal. There might be times where I call us to not CC, and that's just because greens won't spawn during ACC. So I'm just trying to get everyone back up and healed up. Um, he does fart out some amount of damage to try to not stand in the shards. Um, the next CC phase will happen as we transition from arrow over to circle side. Any questions? All right, then we'll give this a pull. The last phase I prefer to explain on the fly just to have you guys not worry about it. All right, here we go. Watch the teleport. Nice, no one got teleported. So go ahead and deal with those red circles. Watch teleport. So go ahead and use your entangle. That works too. Make sure we're picking our friends up. Watch teleport. Green is about to spawn. Make sure everyone's healed up. Push the green or the shards off of us for the orbs. Try to not stand in Got them. Teleported. Sorry. You're fine. Green is about to pop. Make sure we are resing our friends. Green is about to pop. Good job. Make sure everyone gets healed back up. Nice, and we phased. Everyone go to your sides. Thank you, Triss, for the heart attack, as always. Stand in this green. Make sure we beat up blue first, and we won't have to deal with it anymore. Um, green circles. Pick our friend up. I have advice for you guys on red side, stand behind the speed mushroom and we need to take this green, take this green, take this green. Awesome. And then pick them up. Um, advice for red side, stand behind that mushroom and the red circles won't be as much of an issue. If you notice you're taking a lot of damage and you're not getting healed back up, it's probably because you're not stacking with the healers, making it difficult um, for us to help heal you back up. A lot of healing in this game is AoE around everyone, or in fields, and if you're not stacking with group, it's hard to help you. Carrot, thank you for the sub. Make sure we CC. Oh, we don't have the boon rip. That's unfortunate. Um, if anybody has a way to rip boons, which doesn't look like it, else we can just DPS through this. Oh. Oh. All right, 
it, so you see it, and we're done. Watch the teleports. Alright, remember, you want to be on this side of Arrow. This is my so you see? Maybe I will Pick our friend up. Watch teleports. Try to pick our friends up. Swap sides. Green is about to pop. Heal everyone up. Pick our friends up. Get ready for CC. CC. Watch teleports. Push the reds if you can. Make sure we're picking oh. people up. My bad. All right, let's go ahead and GG. Really good first pull. I'm having some very weird and uh, annoying lags where um, my character doesn't stop running when I tell him to. So I kind of panic a little bit and that's uh, huh. making me play less well. I'm sorry. No worries. Um, I haven't heard that one, so I'm not really sure how to fix it, unless you're just using auto-run. Um... No, no, it's not that. I know it's because my potato laptop is just lagging a lot, but it shouldn't lag that much, because I don't have anything else open. Alright. Uh, my only advice was, um... Just be more focused about reds. You don't really need to worry about dealing damage as Druid on this fight. Um, pretty mm -hmm. much the only thing you need to... or I don't even really watch the boss. Um, I just watch the edge of my screen for teleports, and then I'm looking around the room uh, for the reds and whether or not a green is about to pop. And that's um, would be my Indeed. biggest advice. But we're looking really good. We'll give it another pull. If anyone has any questions about that first wait no that's not the way there we go sorry i had i just realized i had frost spirit and not the something else what spirits do you have that way i can take the other one uh i got uh stone and sun right now with the glyph of tides just switch okay that works Unless you want me maybe to get uh, search and rescue, maybe? No, I think we're fine. Alright. Alright, pulling in three, two, one. So now here's where I leave to go entangle. Watch the teleports. Alright, they're too close, you have to use Glyph of the Tides to push them off of us. Nice, just like that. Make sure we're pressing F to heal everyone. Make sure everyone's topped off. Green's about to pop, and boom. Everyone just stay here. A wonderful combination. Watch teleports. Help. I don't have more. Over here. Uh, push them off. Ooh, perfect, just like that. Alright. Stay for heals. Heal everyone up. Perfect. Alright, try to burn down Blue Guardian, so he doesn't get that boon. Watch the teleport. Alright, he did get that boon. If anybody has any boon removal on our side, which I don't think is anyone. Make sure you're picking people up. No. Unfortunate. Get to the screen. Oh. Uh, 
I don't know if we have anybody with boon rip. But I can even make it this adjustment. Make sure we're ceasing green. Nice. Sorry, I'm looking at what classes have a boon rip. All right, let's go ahead and GG. Okay, this is gonna be mildly scuffed. Where is this in? Oh, it's part of their gadget skills. Um, do I have anybody who has a scourge built? I do. Uh, what role are you right now? Druid. All right, can I have you uh, scourge? Just otherwise we can't clear <laughs> this fight. Um, my, my scourge is a healer, quote unquote. So. Yeah, I mean, uh, do you mean like Condi Scourge or just... Preferably Condi Scourge, but I will take what I can get. I do have Condi Scourge actually, <laughs> I don't have heal. But yeah, I can go fetch in if you want. Uh, yes please. And then I will druid this fight. Alright. And then I'll send druid back your way. And any of the other fights. But you're doing a uh, really good job. It's just unfortunate by chance we don't have any... Um, non-staff mesmers, um, a, any necros, any revenants that I could force this job onto. The only what thing I was seeing is throw mine, which is a utility skill, um, but then he would not be a mechanist, and which kind of defeats the whole purpose of the heal a lack tank. And also, this is like one of Scourge's best fight because they'll give barrier to their subgroup. Um, which lessens the impact of greens going off. The other thing I see is Spellbreaker has that, but I don't wish anyone to play Spellbreaker. <laughs> okay, so... All right, we'll give this another Wait, pull. Just which? Um, it's built into your scepter, so you just naturally have it. Yeah, okay. That's the three. And here we go. Watch teleports. 
Nice, no one dodge rolled backwards. As I... As I don't take the utility that I need. Um, actually, let's go ahead and GG. This one's on me. Oops. Rather than trying to deal with it without either Glyph or Entangle. Glyph, Entangle, and move Glyph there. Alright, and we'll just start the fight once everyone gets to the platform. You know what, McCarrot? You're right. I'm sorry I fail at Druid. Alright, we're pulling. Watch teleport. That's refreshing. Refreshing. I feel energized. I'm neither here nor there. Over here. Watch teleport. Green is coming. Try to get over here. Touch the wrong button. Green is coming. Make sure everyone is topped off. Watch teleport. Green's about to pop. Make sure everyone's healed up. I see some people standing very far away. If you are not the tank, I want you basically standing on me, except for when I leave to go do a mechanic. Just stack super tightly. Green is coming. Stay here for heals. So I go with the blue. You go to red. Or yeah, come to blue side. That way we actually have your boon strip. Perfect. Take this green. Kill blue guardian, we won't have to deal with any greens. So you see him? Nice, and it's done. So much cleaner when you have boon strip. CC green, and our side is done. Meet up on arrow. Oh. Green is coming. Get ready for CC. Do you see them? Get off blue side, it is now spicy. Green here. Pick our friend up quickly. Try to heal them up. Swap sides, swap sides, swap sides. Oh my. Pick our friends up. Um, we won't be able to save you all the way over there. Green is going off. Make sure everyone's topped off. Go. Everybody should be pressing F. <laughs> Green is about to pop. Swap sides. Head back to arrow. Watch teleport out of blue side. It is spicy. Alright, good job. At this point, you can head to your sides. We don't have any. Uh, we will just power through it. We have plenty of time left for enrage. He does take Condi damage. Dodge these. Nice.
pick our friend up. Over here. CC, green, and then we only have to deal with one of them. Refreshing. I feel energized. Now we'll feel my turbulence. Uh, Reds, if you want to come over to our side, I'll escort you. You'll be fine. We have two healers there. Take this green. Alright, afterwards we're meeting up at Square. CC? Alright, so the only new difference to this is now two tiles get spicy at any given moment. My tank, you're going to want to be this distance away from the center because the center has all the nastiness that spawns. CC? So also during this phase I may call for us to take a green if it is nice and right next to us. Swapping sides, moving, moving, quickly moving. We're standing in fire and it hurts. Take this green. Alright, get ready to move sides. Watch our pulls. We do not want to be pulling those reds on top of us. Come right over here. Take that green, take that green. I see the pattern at last. You're CC. Get off the side, try to range CC it. Okay, a green spawn is about to happen. A simple distortion. I need to uh -oh. Watch the teleport. Pick our friends up. All right, we're moving sides, moving over here. All right, let's go ahead and GG. Good attempt. I'm just here dead watching everyone die. <laughs> well, you get another what attempt. It? Was it the green? Yeah. Yeah, that, it was the yeah. green going off. We were on top oh, all right. Off. We're also really spread out, so our heals weren't working too well. We just panicked at the end. Hey Shadow, how are you I doing? Mean, it's always at the end that people panic on this bus, so... Wait, Condi Daredevil has boon rope? Oh, it's in a trait. for subs. There we go. Oh, we had a DC. How is everyone liking Veil vale Guardian? <laughs> it's a little stressful, just the teleporting part. True. I'm very rusty. <laughs> it's been a while I, I did great, <laughs> especially Wing Wong. So I'm rusty. <laughs> Back. Ooh, welcome back.
Uh. Alright. Here we go. Forum members stack tightly. Here comes our first green. Watch the teleport. Nice. Here comes our next screen. Make sure everyone's topped off. See people moving quite a bit. You can kind of just stay still till um, teleports happen. Alright, we've phased. Take this green. Make sure we beat up blue first. Watch the teleport. Get in the green, get in the green. Pick our friend up. Sorry, I'm in this. Watch the teleport. Watch the teleport. Nice, and we're meeting back up on arrow. Watch teleport. Never saw Get everyone healed back up. I see the pattern at last. Watch the teleport. You're seen. That feels good. I'm tired of lying around. Green is coming. Swap sides. Get ready to heal back up and heal everyone back up. Res than CC. We have a green incoming. Don't stand in that red. Unfortunately, not be able to save you. Get to your side. All right. So you may have a color over your head. You have to be on that side, or else you are going to go down state very quickly. All right. I was a little ambitious, and then we didn't even get in the green. All right. Good attempt. is having really bad delay right now. Disappeared for a few minutes. What'd you miss? Uh, just everyone's getting some practice in. Give it another pull. Save unstable artifact in case anyone gets down far away. Um. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, but ideally no one gets down far away. Just watch teleports. That's pretty much going to be the only way you die. As long as our healers are doing their job. Watch teleport. Oh, 
pick our friend up. A Much distortion. And maybe I was the illusion all along. Okay, green is coming. You'll melt away. Watch the teleport. Green is coming. Watch the teleport. Nice, and we phased. Pick our friend up. Get out of the teleport and head to this green. Stay in the screen and then we'll res afterwards. Alright, we have no more greens, just teleports. Watch out for them. CC. Watch the teleports. We have a green incoming. Watch out for the blue side, it hurts. Green is incoming. Pick our friend up, because we're going to have to swap sides here soon. Swap sides, get ready for a green to pop. And get ready to CC. Good CC. Green is about to pop. Make sure we you heal everyone it. up. Press F to save people. We are about to phase everyone to their side. Good job. Watch out for the teleport. Oops. Um, somebody wants to try and save me. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh. Let's go ahead and GG. Let me take a look at something. Um, for my staff mirage, do you have any concentration gear on? Or are you in full vipers? Full vipers? Okay, you'll want to take some concentration gear because uh, mirage can't actually upkeep um, full alacrity without it. Your alacrity is kind of in the 40s. Do you have any way to swap that out? Um, also, concentration runes help a little bit, but the higher... Okay, I would recommend taking dragons, or ritualists, sorry, on those. Um, eventually, you'll want to be... Oh, what does Snow Crows recommend? I always recommend what Snow Crows has, plus two pieces. Because um, they, they're going to give you the minimum that you need, assuming you're doing everything correctly. Um, they have full vipers, really? Oh, plus they have you toxic maintenance oil. Gotcha. I would recommend turning all of those to, um, ritualist. You're... DPS will drop a little bit, but your uh, boon duration will go up quite a bit. 
Um, other than that, it's just um, pretty much dodging off cooldown. Well. Um, one thing you might be doing, I, I would need to watch better, is make sure that there's space in between your dodges because you need to have your clones also cast the Alacrity um, Hadouken. But overall, I think we're looking really good. Yeah, so whenever you dodge, um, there will be a brief delay, and then your clones will dodge, and then you'll do the Hadouken. Um, actually, you all dodge at the same time, but the reason they don't do Hadouken with you is because they won't have quickness. Um, so you have to do the rotation as if you did not have quickness. I'm ready, I'm ready. Ready check didn't show up for me. Uh, what do you mean, invite you? Sh no, the ready, the are you ready question didn't show up in this screen. Okay. Um... You can cl click on the symbol, uh, symbol in the square, uh, squad thingy. We will give it 10 seconds before we'll pull. Alright, pulling in 3, 2, 1. I'm bad at counting to 10. Huh. Oh, damn. Alright, we'll go ahead and GG. Uh... There's always one. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I wanted to just uh, step back a little, but I do uh, hit dodge king. So. Oh, the double. Um, no, I don't have it set to double, but my dodge key is. Um, Right next to my um, index finger, so. <sighs> I wouldn't be able to do jumping puzzles with the dodge on double tap. No, w I do jumping puzzles with it on. If you need to just like inch forward, you just double click your mouse. But I'm not. That could have jumping puzzle, so uh. I wield great wisdom. Make sure everyone's topped up. Good job. Watch the teleport. Oh sorry. You're seeing things. I'm seeing some people pretty spread out. Remember you wanna be pretty much under me. Um, that way you're getting all the heals. The exception is when I leave to go do mechanics, as it as I am doing right now. Go ahead and wait here. Give up yet? Oh, I'm going to go down. Pick our friends up. <sighs> that feels better. You're seeing. We have a green in coming. Nice, and we phased. Watch the teleport. Stay in the green, though. Nice. CC. And we don't have to deal with green circles anymore. Watch teleports. Alright, remember to be on the red side of arrow. Watch teleports. Back up nicely. Maybe I will be illusion all along. It's about time. You lose. Watch teleports. You're seeing. 
Right, swap sides, we're about to have a green go off. Make sure everyone's topped off. CC. Pick our friends up. Swap sides. Everybody should be pressing F. The exception is my tank. All right, we're just taking the screen. Come to the screen, come to the screen. All right, CC the boss. Get off blue side, get off blue side. Pick our friend up. All right, and we are good. Bazin. If you have a marker, you need to be on that side, regardless of what your job role was, or else you'll be taking a massive amount of damage. So, for example, my blue friend, you cannot be over on red side. Just kind of hang out with us. Pick them up. Stand in this green. Make sure we're picking people up. Stand in the screen first, though. I guess I didn't have any dodges. Can I get a res over on red side? Help me over here. Come here. Look who's back. It's me. I am just playing this horribly. CC, and you're done over there. Alright, we're meeting up where I am at. Watch the teleports. Okay, we have a green going off. Make sure everyone is topped off. Pick them up. Holy crap. Watch the teleports. Right, take the screen, take the screen, take the screen. Watch the teleport, stay in the green though. Pick our friend up. Wickly swap sides. Pick our friend up in the center. T actually, take the screen, take the screen, take the screen. Watch the teleports. Now pick them up. Swap off the side. You are standing in fire and it hurts. Pick our friend up. We are swapping sides. Come over here. Take the screen. Take the screen. Take the screen. Alright, moving sides, moving sides. <coughs> range CC, range CC. Watch the teleports. Pick people up. Take this green. Swap sides. We have a green spawn in here soon. Protected. CC. Stand in that green. All right. Moving sides. Moving sides. Two percent. Just kill the boss. Very good job. Oh, I did really poorly in that fight. I just kept going downstate. Alright, how many people was that your first raid boss? Uh, me. Alright, congratulations. I know it's not. Um, additionally, you will now have unlocked a mastery track called Raids in Heart of Thorns. I recommend putting all your new e EXP you're going to get 
into this. The reason is now there won't be repair canisters around the room. Um, they'll only be at the start of the fight. Um, and you can use these lay rifts to repair your oh, no. armor instead. All right, Roxy, if you want to swap back to Druid, or whichever you would prefer. I like my Druid. <laughs> All right. I'm a bit rusty on currently DPS, so I'd rather play something I play often than. I mean, you you did really well. All right, so let's go ahead and. Random buttons. <laughs> I think I have area. a bug where uh, Longbow 2 is constantly playing, so I'm going to reload, because this is annoying. <laughs> Alright. We did nothing of the sort. Out of our way. Do I not have auto targeting on? Oh, no, I do. It's just being weird. Um, the person yeah. relogging, are you new to this fight? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, so then I'll start explaining this. So, welcome to Spirit Run. The pre event is harder than the actual encounter itself. For this pre event, there are going to be uh, zones that we need to capture at each of the marker. Um, all you have to do is uh, run to them in the order that they spawn. While you are running in between, um, you can, um, or you should be cleaving any ads that spawn. That's it. I'll give call outs about which one we are heading to. We'll do a ready check, and the fight starts once we kill everything down there. Chose you. Here we go. You did this to us. Oh. Huh. Fury rising. All right, beat up the on these champions while we wait for them to spawn. Alright, head over to circle. Now you can glide in here as it anytime you go downhill. Make sure we pick our friends up. Head over to star or the one at gate. After this we are heading across all the way over here to heart. After this, it's the one in the center at circle. Then it's back to circle. Oh, sorry. I made the wrong call out. I, I always change which order I place these. All right, and then we just stay here. Head over to heart. Head back to center. And now we head to heart. Here I come. And now we head back to the gate on star. And we're 40% done. All the way to the top. Stay here. Protected. Stay here. Lucky us. <laughs> this is my wrath. Run to the center. Give up. 
Back up to top. And then it's gate. After this, it's star, or it's not star, sorry, heart. Stay in here. I have my mag on avoid combat, but he always does attack. Add into a circle. Yeah, a lot of the EOD things are kind of bugged like that. Like, all the ranger pets will attack when they're supposed to be passive. At least that's the way it was back when I tried them out. Nice. Alright, and then follow me. They were led to their and we're going to line of sight them right behind a pillar. We're just going to run behind this pillar. Just gotta mash your face into it, that way they run at us. Alright, spread out and kill the rest. Once we kill this last spirit here. Did Sabbath and I have to be spirits? doing this build wrong. Why am I hitting so low? I don't like the look of this place. Alright. Welcome to Spirit Run. Um it's called Spirit Run because we are running from a wall of spirits. Um, there are going to be walls that we have to break, that way we can continue running, and there are also going to be those nukes that we saw in pre-phase. What I want to happen is my healers are going to worry about um, standing on the nukes, everybody else just run through them and go and start DPSing the spirit walls. That's it. At some point I'll tell you guys to glide, at some point I'll yell for you guys to run to arrow, but that's kind of more in the moment. All right, here we go. Run! So remember, just run through these and then go kill this ethereal barrier. Nice, run through this one that's spawning here, and now we go kill the barrier again. Run through this one. Now all my DPS, we are going to stand on the next one, because we can still hit the barrier. Okay, here's where we are going to have to jump and glide. Jump and glide. Alright, remember we're running through these. And we are heading towards Arrow to grab that one that spawns. Nice. And now we need to kill the last barrier and we hit a checkpoint. Alright, 
follow me. We need to stand on five buttons at the same time. I'll just drop markers on where each of them is. So I need somebody to stand behind and get on them. The first one's that arrow. The second okay. one's over by circle. You have yes. to drop down from that ledge. The third one is in the gazebo. The fourth is on top of a jumping puzzle up there. And the fifth is behind a vine wall over on square, which I can head towards. Uh, go ahead and save our person on arrow. Oh, I didn't even have us do the raid achievement. Oops. Apologies for everyone working on legendary armor. But you'll be doing this at least three more, or four more times. So we need everyone on a button. Um, Wait, uh, is anybody on the one at Gazebo? I chose you. Come here. All right, go ahead and GG. Uh, what button wasn't getting pressed? Um, the top of the jumping person. Oh, I thought I saw someone up there. Alright, um, and we give it another attempt. it up. I zigged when I should have zagged. Alright, someone needs to head to the one on square. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so bad at this jumping puzzle. Is Jumping's hard. Kill these guys up here. We heal at one. So, if I'm being honest, I've never had to do the jumping puzzle in the raid. Where's the jumping puzzle? Uh, it's these mushrooms over here that I keep failing at. <laughs> uh, you take the mushrooms to the top of the thing. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, we did it! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we wiped on that almost as much as Bale Guardian. Almost. All right, for my druid, you're welcome to just take full mm -hmm. spirits for this one. Um, except you do need entangle. Yeah, pretty much got it. Okay, yeah, I remember what I need to do. All right, so also let me relook at my build because I'm doing like no damage. Uh, 
Do we need portal? Do we need portal? Yeah. Uh, no, we don't need portal. Skirmishing goes there, there. Where's the one where my attacks cleave? I fixed my build. Hopefully I'll do better. Okay, so this is Gorsival. Gorsival, on a scale of 1 to 10, depending on our DPS, is either a 3 out of 10 or like a 7 out of 10 in terms of difficulty. Um, so what the fight's going to look like is we are going to run at the boss, he is going to attack us, and then do a slam move. Try and dodge this, but our guardians are w or mechanists are welcome to give us stability for this. It's really not that big of a deal, it's just a DPS loss, which comes into factor later. Um, so we are going to be DPSing on Gorsable. It is a toughness-based fight, uh, meaning that there is a tank. For our tank, um, try to get as close to Gorsable as you can without having him turn, because you want to be giving out boons still. Everyone else, we're going to be stacking way up in his butt uh, for said boons. So we'll be DPSing him down, and then he'll get angry, at which point he is going to enter a temper tantrum and start smacking his fists all on the ground. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. People can dodge or also just get hit by it. It's really not that big. I just mention it. Um, so he's going to enter a temper tantrum. Three things are going to happen during this temper tantrum. One is he's going to get retaliation. Um, Riser, my um, weaver, be yeah. very careful not to... Do are you power or condi? Uh. Okay. Be very very careful to just auto attack only during this phase any strike instances of damage that you do gorsable you're going to take like a thousand damage in retaliation due to how any form of elemental deals damage you will die in under a second if you're doing your full rotation yeah I know. <laughs> uh particularly like um air sword three will just delete you quantum strike yeah um, everybody else, you really don't have to worry about this. Um, I think the next closest is Longbow 2 on Ranger, but it's I've never had it become an issue. Uh, um, Dragon Hunter is the only other class that really worries about this. Also, I've been told Spectre, but we don't have those classes, so don't worry about it. The next thing that's going to happen is he um, pools are going to start... Um, spawning if you can get out of it without running too far um then get out of the pool they explode and deal a lot of damage if it's way too far away from him then um don't worry about it we'll just heal through this the last thing that's going to happen is he is going to get a cc bar um now that cc bar um once we break it it ends the fight which um starts a hidden timer that timer is us pushing him to 66% because after um, that timer ends, he's going to channel a destroy the room mechanic. And how this fight was intended to be done is you would run to the end, break the wind wall that's encasing us, jump, glide out as he destroys the room, and come back in. However, literally no group you ever do will do this mechanic. So it's best to learn it how everyone is going to do it. That's because once we get him to 66%, um, he will phase and stop this move so that is what we are going to look at or be pushing for this is a fight where dps is the most important thing any questions so far perfect uh once we get him to 66 percent he is going to spawn four ghosts on each of the marker 
Everybody except Roxy is going to head towards Arrow. Roxy, you're going to position yourself in between Heart and Square. Um, wait till the ghosts get uh, like halfway, use Entangle, and you're just going to keep them rooted there. Um, you'll use things like um, Entangle, um, Staff 4, CA5, um, or Reactivating Stone Spirit to try to keep them in place. You're just buying as much time for us to kill the other, um, for us to kill all of them. All right, after then, the fight begins anew. Um, the only difference is now these orbs will spawn around the room and slowly seek out poison. It will be my job, because I think my damage is abysmal, um, to range DPS them. Um, if you touch one of these black puddles, you'll get a ghost over your head um, that you have been encased in darkness, which you do 50% less damage and you take 50% more damage. All you have to do to get rid of it is touch one of those balls of light from that drop whenever an orb is killed. So from there, it's the same fight. Um, CC phase will happen. Um, we beat him up, CC him. He tries to destroy the room. We get him down to 33%. Ghost spawn, yada yada. After this, the 33 to 0 is pretty much the same phase, except before the temper tantrum and after the temper tantrum he's going to do what's called eggs eggs are where cage the cages fall down from the sky and you need to get out of them do not dodge them just get out of them because uh, they are unblockable um, if you get hit by them you just will mash one to get out or your friends will cleave you out it's not the biggest deal but it is a dps loss all right if you have any questions now is the time to ask <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. There's that slam I was talking about. All right, CC. All right, we are pushing for sixty six per cent. All right, let's go ahead and GG. So we do not have the best DPS. Part of that is on me with a scuffed build. Um, let me double check boons also really quick. Our boons look good. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to delay the CC. Um, that way it gives us more time. I'll call out when we will CC. Um, other than that, we are looking fine. Um, should I get on your side if uh, CC um, the face? Oh, uh, you can. Um, Oops. He won't okay. turn while he's doing this, and it doesn't matter which side he's facing. Um, you'll just want to swap back to the other side as he gets CC. That way, he doesn't yeah. turn around. Right. Just wasn't sure where to stand. All right, here we go. Do not CC. Get out of the block. Out of the block. All right, CC. Nice. Pick our friend up. I want you guys closer to the boss, and we should be resing our friend. They are full dead. Strength of the pack. 
Alright, let's go ahead and GG. Um, for our revenant, um, are you in full diviners or, um, ritualist? Diviners? Okay. We'll give this another pull. Also, I'm learning my made-up rotation. Protected. I want everyone a little bit tighter for boons. Or we are delaying the CC. Pick our friend up. Pick our friends up. CC. Everybody should be pressing F to save our down front. We heal at one. Sorry. Just keep DPS in your hearts out. DPS, DPS, DPS. So close, we hit the phase as we died. Yeah. All right. We'll go ahead and give it more pulls. Here we go. Make sure you're stacking tightly for Boo. See how I'm like kind of right up his butt? Pick our friend up. Um, he has retaliation, uh, for one. Also, if you stood in a black, so back up, back up, back up, uh, you get hit with 25 stacks of Vuln. Alright, the CC timed out. Big DPS. Stack tightly for boons. Alright, our DPS was even better there. Good job. Now everyone to arrow. Druid head to between circle and heart, and you'll just kind of wait kind of close to the boss. Just like that, yeah. And so here's where I would start stacking your boons again and tank it to the other side of the boss. That way we don't have to move. Alright. So now these orbs are going to spawn. I will deal with any that become too close. Such as this one. I see the pattern at last. 
pick our friend up. Get out of the block, out of the block. Alright, CC. Everyone press F. Pick our friends up. Yes, we're two percent. Voila. Good job, everyone. Two arrow. Drew it back in position. Yep. Or don't touch that black oil field. It's horribleness. Mm -mm. No. Down. Pick our friend up. Protected. Weak. Mm. Beat up this charged yes, spirit. Watch the eggs. Watch eggs. Escúcheme una cosa. Ha venido alguien. Perdona que te moleste, pero. Are looking good. Delay the CC. Out of the block. Out of the block. Out of the block. Out of the block. Pick our friend up. Pick our friend up. Everyone use self heals. Out of this block. Out of this block. Get as much DPS on the boss in as you can, but don't get yourself killed. Pick our friend up. Pick our friend up. All right, we're gonna have another eggs. Out of the egg. Out of the egg. Press F. All right, big damage on the boss. Seven. So close. I think we might had some people maybe with the deb, maybe or deb. Um, let me check. Strength of the pack. Oh, that's not what I, I think I might have had that. Yeah, I gotta check. Not all people use buffers, so we could do more damage. That is see. an option if you have food. Uh, let me just check to see if anyone get hit by the debuff. Um, I also saw a lot of people got hit by the eggs at that end. Which is one of our DPS losses. Yeah. Megan is having a hard time. <laughs> um. <laughs> because all of the orbs, I think, are making my PC go out of shape. No, no one really got hit by the ghost debuff. Oh, well, that's good. There was know. one, but it was a healer, so it's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, it was me. Uh. I know I got hit and then I got down and then I didn't got the buff anymore. Because I tried to rest someone, so... Sorry, gotta go. Something urgent came up. No worries. Alright, is there anyone in chat on EU that would like to a lack tank for us? Uh, I'm the lack tank. I don't... Oh, wait, never mind. Um... Uh, where's... Did I kick the wrong person? My apologies. I s yeah. Someone said I had to go, and then I just saw somebody left the instance, so I just assumed. I think Zarav was, yeah, was at just an alacrity. Um, alacrity. So we'll just LFG it for an alacrity. Training. Gorse. Eat a lack. Sorry, my build is so scuffed. <laughs> uh, where, where do I fix my armor? Where do you fix your armor? Um, 
Were you able to unlock the first r mastery for Rift Forager? I haven't yet. Okay, so then you will take the Lay Rift all the way back to the Pact Camp. Pact Camp, okay. Um, and then there is an anvil right here. I have a question. Yeah. Um, during the puddles where Gorsuch was slamming the floor, mm -hmm. uh, I'm playing Reaver. Do I just use auto attacks through all that? Um, in an ideal group, um, the boss gets CC'd right away because you'll have mm -hmm. the DPS to, um, and then you'll just keep your doing your rotation. In yeah. this group, yeah, I would recommend just auto attacking. Okay. All right, we will give a ready check. Here we go. Strength of the sick of it. I've beaten you. But you don't protect it. Sorry, wrong button. Fine, just readjust. He teleports to the center of the room anyway. Out of the block. Out of the block. Out of the block. Make sure we're healing people up. DPS, DPS, DPS. Out of the block? Yes. Out of the block. Alright, CC. Ah, Out of the block. So, as a tank, you kind of try to reposition so that way the DPS don't have to move. So, like, for example, always be on the opposite side as your DPS. One percent. All right, now everyone head over to Arrow, my druid in between Square and Heart. Alright, and then tank get in position. So I just run over here, that way they don't have to move that much. Alright. DPS. Pick our friend up. Out of the block. Out of the block. Right, we cannot get out of this block. Be 
Big DPS on the boss. All right, good job. Everyone to their sides. I will be clearing out um, things. All right, watch out for eggs. Pick up our friend. Look who's back. It's me. Break them the pack. Big DPS. Watch out for retaliation. Out of the block, out of the block, out of the block. Make sure we heal people up. Everybody res, res, res. Oh, we CC'd early. We're gonna need big DPS. Watch the eggs. Big DPS, 10%. So close. Oh, come on. <laughs> so close, yeah. I'm trying to send my pet sometimes on the orb when I Um I wouldn't worry about it. Uh because you're soul beast and you need to um, merge for it. I'm kinda scuffing my build even further because I know I'm our lowest DPS by a large margin. So I'm just clearing up orbs during that phase. Guys, Core Ranger, not the best. Mm -hmm. Zero out of ten with rice. Protected. Yes. Out of the block. We can't get out of this one, so we're just gonna DPS CC. Nice. Our DPS is improving. Alright, everyone to their markers. Alright, and then Tank, you'll just want to get right where I'm standing. Yep, nice. And then they don't have to move too much. Out of the block. Yep, I got it. If you have a ghost over your head, you need to uh, grab one of those orbs. CC. Pick our friends up. Feeling better. Time 
We're looking fine. We hit the phase. Everyone to your marker. I'm just going to be clearing up orbs. Uh, so you got uh, Titan no, 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 no. orbs. What do? What? Are Sorry, I was focused on something else. What were you saying? Um, someone was hit by the black orb. Oh, it looks like they have adjusted because I, I don't see a ghost to... over anyone's head. Make sure we yeah, get this last to... one. Alright, watch out for the eggs, and I believe in us. Watch out, eggs. Hold out on CC, out of the block. Watch out for that. Pick our friend up, pick our friend up, or they die. Alright, CC has expired. Big DPS. Watch eggs, watch eggs, watch eggs. You chose this. Four percent, I believe. And there we go. And we did it the correct way where we didn't have to run to the edge. Congratulations, everyone. Here is where I am going to call it. Sabatha is a massive step up in difficulty. Um, and I usually like everyone to be in voice call when I do that. Um, I can post and review logs, and we can see how abysmal my damage is. I really did bad on the last pull with the, uh, the teleport, so the first few pulls were best, and then I just degraded i know oh, wrong word uh my skill degraded no worries i got teleported a couple times too um, open up the gorsable log as well actually that is the gorsable log open up the veil guardian log There is VG, and there is Gorsable. You can follow along um, with those links, or you can watch the stream, whichever you prefer. But I will review logs before I head out. So, first let's look at Veil Guardian. The first thing I always look at are mechanics. Um, split TP is how many times you get teleported during the split phase. Um, which, honestly, we didn't have too many. Um, for boss TP, um, you kind of want to be as low as possible. I know that's kind of obvious with every mechanic, but this is... Um, if you get teleported like as a green goes off, there's just a high chance you die. Um, so even one is kind of bad. Like, I even had one. I'm embarrassed at myself. Um, they're less harmful during the final phase, which is where some of them were. But um, during phase one and two, you really need to be mindful of them. Uh, green is how many times we were able to stand in a green, which actually was decently high. We got pretty lucky there. Um, seeker is how much seeker damage you took. Um, if it was more than a little in phase was one and two, I did my job poorly, which... Um... Oh, I remember one got pulled in phase two. That's what happened. Um, in phase three, you just kind of have to watch where you're standing, because um, they do hurt quite a bit, and you don't want to be standing in them. The rest of these, don't worry about. It's just which side you went to. Next, we'll look at boons. Um, might in sub 2 is... I need to review my EU build because that shouldn't be happening. Um, might on my sub was really low. 
Um, sub one might looks fine. Um, Fury looks all right. Little low in sub two. Oh, I think that's the alacrity, because the alacrity was really low. Um, which makes sense now. Um, quickness is a little low. I'll give sub two a pass because we had a low alacrity. Um, but for sub one, where was it? You had a personal of 98. Um, but you weren't hitting any of your allies too often with it. Just a reminder that it is thrown out into a cone in front of you, so you do want to be the furthest back in the group. Yeah. Uh, just a question. Does it does this also apply to the split face? Because I remember we spend a lot of time on head where we were I can check. Checking. In phase one, um, it was a little bit better at 80%, but still your subgroup, like for example, uh, you weren't giving the tank any. Um, in phase two, you had perfect quickness, but again, you weren't really hitting your group. Um, I can check to see if it was because teleports. Um, there was only five teleports among your subgroup. Um, let me see where you were standing. So part of it, it looks like we are just real spread out, so it's hard to hit. Um, but like, for example, it seems to be more of a stacking issue. Um, but I also see that you're not um, like the furthest back, so that way the cone hits everyone. Um, so part of it's stacking, part of it is just where you are standing. Uh, just be a little more mindful of that. But overall, looks fine. Next, we'll go to our damage. We'll just look at phase one damage. Uh, our damage looks alright. Good job, everyone. Any questions on Veil Guardian? How often does a teleport happen? Um, I believe it's every... 15 seconds? Uh, next up okay. is Gorsival. It changes a little bit based on their mechanics. Because um, they have rotations that they do. And uh, some skills have priorities over others. Um, next is Gorsifal. So for mechanics, there's not too much to look at mechanics, except for that slam that I was telling people to dodge. We had a high amount of hits there. Um, don't worry about it too much, but you could either dodge it or have stability for it. Next is eggs. There was a maximum of two eggs. Um, do what you want with that information. It is a DPS loss to get hit by it, but it's not the biggest of deals and our group it kind of was because we were really close to that um really close to the end uh this is actually the wrong log because that one says we failed oops open this gorsible there we go back to mechanics slams were still a little high um eggs actually look a little worse um Less people that got hit by two, but Wait, more people can, got hit can by we one. Have the, can I have the link of the one we... Oh, yeah, my apologies. Since, yeah. Um, delete the bad one. Post the good one. Um, for our warrior friend, you got hit by four orbs. It's not the biggest of deal as long as you recognize that you got hit by the four orbs. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't let me know if you still have the debuff at the end. Actually, I can check. Uh... Towards the end... Uh, I picked up uh, orbs for it uh, rather quickly after I got the debuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing the debuff on you at the end, so it looks fine. Um, block is... How many times you got hit by the black? Uh, um, there were five that we couldn't have avoided, so just be careful about moving there a little bit faster. But overall, looks fine. Uh, blocks aren't the biggest deal. It just puts a lot of pressure on your healers 
in higher DPS groups, it's not the biggest of deal because you're not in that phase for that long. But yeah. Um, now on to boons. Might looks all right. Good job, Roxy. You did better at Druid than me. Um, <laughs> Fury looks all right. Quickness. Um, still a little low in sub two, but a lot better. Um, phase one, you had really good. Um, the only difference was my mechanist doesn't get any heals. You might have not been close enough to the boss. So let's watch the combat replay. Yeah, so for my mechanist, you are too far away from the boss. Like, you want to get as close to the boss as you can without it flipping around. That way you're giving out boons to your subgroup and still receiving boons from your subgroup. Because um, we'll look at your alacrity. Your alacrity actually was fine all around. Um, but it just, you didn't have quickness. Which, as a healer, isn't the biggest deal. But... Um, Depending on when your mech stands, there was a chance about alacrity. I got um, slammed away two times, two times I think. So it wasn't my best attempt with the mechanics. So maybe that's why I didn't get enough buffs. I don't know. Uh, or... could have been, um, but usually not. Um, it's just a stacking issue. It's kind of more. Yeah, but it was my first time tank, so... <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, next is our DPS. <laughs> I didn't hit 10k, oh no. Oh, I really need to... I just need to go unlock Soul Beast is what it comes down to. Um, this is why you don't play core, everyone. Outside of PvP. Um, yeah. Um, our DPS outside of me actually looks pretty good. <laughs> oh god, 9k. That was 16k. So um, I usually tell my DPS classes, so my non-boon classes, to shoot for 15k during course pool, because you kind of just stand still. Um. Yeah, which it looks like we hit outside of me. <laughs> uh, good job, everyone. Did anyone have any questions about it? Awesome. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed raid training. Um, I realize only a few people was new, but um, I hope you enjoyed raiding. Um, I do this yeah. every Friday. Um, sometimes a little bit more during the week. Depends on my schedule. Um, if you enjoyed, drop a follow, um, else I will be heading off and swapping games to Fire Emblem for a couple hours. Bye, everyone! Bye. Thanks for the ring! Bye! For Mills, thanks, thank you for the follow! Alright, so let's go ahead and swap games. Moose put on those training wheels. <laughs> I didn't put on the training weights. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I did by literally sandbagging my DPS class. My build is so scuffed. Started with my equipment. I'm in exotic, which is fine, but um, it doesn't help that I have Selly trinkets. Um, so yeah. Additionally, um, I need Soul Beast, is what it comes down to. So in my off time, I'll work on getting that. Uh, but this is my first time doing anything DPS Ranger related. 